sex. Such a good show. Such a good show, everybody. Tonight, I say that every night. I'm usually lying. Tonight's one has quality, right? It's an excellent show. Perfect show. Be happy you tuned in. And in fact, I want to start by congratulating everybody who's watching the show tonight. Yeah. And everyone who's here. Yeah. And that seems... That seems like a cheap way to get applause, which it is, but there's a point behind it because you should be congratulated. According to today's paper, true story, this week is National Turn Off Your TV Week. <laughs> That's true. It's true. No, it's National Turn Off Your TV, and, and not surprisingly, this year it's sponsored by the XFL. <laughs> I thought you should know. You should know that they're hard at work. It's a disaster. <laughs> uh, this is interesting. The, uh, the National Forest Service announced that after 50 years, they are changing Smokey the Bear's famous slogan, only you can prevent forest fires. They're changing it after all this time. Yeah. And appar yeah, apparently, Smokey's new slogan is, does this hat make me look gay? <laughs> What's that like? Story. This is weird, uh, really weird story. Yesterday, this really happened, I didn't make this up. Uh, yesterday at the White House, in the middle of an interview, President Bush got up out of his chair and started swatting at a housefly. <laughs> yeah, it really happened, yeah. And when asked about it, the White House spokesperson said, hey, that's nothing, you should see him chase a tennis ball. He's really good, he's passing from back and just completely... get the slobber off. Uh, <laughs> officials from the Miss Universe pageant say they are still investigating rumors that claim Miss France is actually a man. Yeah. They're looking into it. Yeah, and uh, in a related story, Miss France apologized to the other contestants because she keeps forgetting to put the toilet seat down. <laughs> she feels bad about it. She feels very bad. And then, uh, cheap but fun. And then the last thing I'll mention, According to a brand new poll that just came out, 77% of Americans believe there is too much sex on television. No. Yeah, 77%. Yeah, the, uh, the other 23% didn't respond to the survey because they were busy masturbating to sex in the city. There's nothing they could do. Which, you tried it. The new national pastime. All right. Uh, Let's discuss tonight's show. Such a good show this evening from MTV's The Andy Dick Show, which is a very funny show. Andy Dick is with us tonight. He's got a funny show on his hands. We also have with us tonight the actor who plays Mickey Mantle in the new HBO movie 61, Thomas Jane. Is with us tonight. That's right. I just realized we have Dick and Jane tonight. We thought of that months ahead of time and arranged this. And then, uh, well, actually, this, our musical guest ruins it. Amy Correa is on the show. So it's just Dick and then Correa. But she's very good. And then, I have to do this uh, before we, we start the show. There's a gentleman in the audience tonight who likes to lift people. And you got to see this. Brian, come on now. He's a hero to everybody all around. <laughs> Look, it's the man who lifts people. <laughs> lifts, and then I like his, after he's done, Brian puts me down and he goes like, my work here is done, goodbye. <laughs> who was that goateed man? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> all right. Wow. 45 seconds of fame and he's like Mussolini now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, 
And right over here, ladies and gentlemen, you got lifted too before the show. Right over here, Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg Show. Max! <laughs> Thank you, Max. Gentlemen, Brian.